Hello, my name is Wiesław Kopecz and I'm the head of Excel Lab, Polish-Japanese Academy of Information Technology. And I'm going to present an exploratory study done by our lab in cooperation with Laboratory of Information Technologies from National Information Processing Institute as a part of transdisciplinary cooperation within our living lab and research group Hayes. In this exploratory study, we examine the potential of BCI for older adults in the context of smart home technology. But first, let me do one remark on BCI. Roughly speaking, this mode of interaction does not require a physical action done in a traditional way, like a gesture or speaking a command. Now let me present a few details on methods of our study. In the course of the study, we organized exploratory workshops based on a semi-structured qualitative scenarios where the participant could freely share their insights and associations. Each workshop consisted of six main parts, as listed in the slide. Now let's move on to the results of our exploratory study, which are presented in a SWOT-like manner. Let's start with strengths. The key strength of the BCI interface is its effortless and time-saving quality. Another important one is connected to the fact that interaction is perceived as being discrete. And this interface may be very useful for users who are immobile. Now some weaknesses discovered in the course of the study. The main weakness was the need to wear a headband or any kind of a special communication device. Another identified drawback was connected to the necessity to learn specific thinking patterns. Moreover, there was a fear that such learning and practice could invoke unwanted or unnatural ways of thinking. Now, a few words about opportunities. The main opportunity was related to providing emergency services and health monitoring, as well as controlling a smart hub. As for threats, there was fear of accidentally issuing commands and tapping into intimate thoughts and its costs. I mean, the cost of the device or a BCI system in general. Or the adults also didn't see BCI as much better than voice assistants. So, let's discuss the implications. So first, older adults may have been apprehensive about BCI as part of their generalized reluctance to engage with newer technologies either because of barriers such as learning new skills, high costs, or just fear of just breaking something. On the other hand, there are some remedies to these fears, which can rely on educational efforts among older adults who can teach each other or attend an ICT course, or creating opportunities for direct contact with the, with the devices in question. The main takeaway is that some group of older adults display a positive attitude towards non-invasive brain-computer interfaces. They see some benefits, such as intuitive operation and multiple areas of applications. However, according to most of them, the benefits of using BCI are not significantly greater than issuing commands by voice. Summing up, we would also like to thank all the older adults from our Living Club Kobo and experts from Hayes Research Group, which stands for Human Aspects in Science and Engineering. Thank you for your attention.